Hello and welcome to a pro patch breakdown here at LOL Class. Let's take a look at this week's changes. The starting gold is now increased to 500, and the ambient gold is increased to 20.4 per 10 from 19 per 10, which are both quite good for sports. It just increases the amount of gold that everyone gets, but since supports are always so much lower than everybody else, just having more gold will just help them relatively. And the starting gold being at 500, and the fact that support items have also been reduced in cost, the starting support items, means that you'll be able to get, I believe, one of the new like potion items or something else, as well as the starting support items, so that's quite good. So minions now spawn 15 seconds earlier, which would mean you couldn't do a camp, but they also made jungle camp spawn 15 seconds earlier, so it basically just means there's less time in the early game for the setup, and everyone's just going to their spots 15 seconds earlier, which means there's going to be less time to invade, less time to kind of save your trinkets, you're probably going to have to do them a bit earlier, and it will should just make the game a bit faster, which is nice. The Rift Herald is a new objective that spawns in the same place as Baron in the early game to kind of add a quality into the map. Um, I think what this will end up doing for the game is you'll just have your stronger lane laning on the top side of the map. So if you have like a, a duo lane that you think can win their, their duo lane, you'll orient them towards the top side of the map um, naturally instead of just uh, lane swapping based off top lane. It's mainly going to be off who can control the Rift Herald better since it's seems like a really strong buff. So the lane top's gonna be about who can control the Rift Herald better. It seems like a stronger buff than Dragon in the early game just because the main way you kill the Rift Herald is you aggro it and um, you kind of cooldowns from when the eye opens and then as soon as the eye opens, burst as fast as possible and finish up the smite and then uh, guarantee the buff. And um, generally speaking, you wanna give this to your top laner because your top laner, when they utilize the Baron minions, unless you have some ridiculous strat where you have like Nunu go and kill the Rift Herald and then he just goes and lanes bot and you have like a siege comp with Kaelin, that could also work. But, I'd say in most um, such of this to your top laner and just let uh, your top laner go to work with it on the turret and take down the turret. So there are a lot of vision changes. The first one is that sight wards are removed. So those are the invisible wards. They're completely removed. No one can buy them. So the only way to get sight wards is from the yellow trinket and from sight stone. You can still buy vision wards and they only cost 75 gold now. They're the pinks. So it's going to be, but since only, everyone can only have one of those still, it's going to be only five of those on the map. And the support and jungler still buying sight stone, which is nerfed now. Also, it, it only holds three wards and the wards don't last as long. It's basically going to require more people probably to get the yellow trinkets to kind of make up for the fact that they can't buy wards. I think basically mid top at the very least, they're both going to have the yellow trinkets. And the yellow trinkets now, there is no blue trinket. The yellow trinkets can upgrade into like a mock blue trinket, which is a super long ward that is always visible and dies in one hit and comes up three times as fast as a normal yellow trinket ward. So it's going to be kind of weird. I, I think one person is going to get the blue trinket, probably the idiot carry or the, the new blue trinket. Two people are going to get yellow trinkets, just keep it on the yellow trinket. The support's going to get red trinket and upgrade it. And I'm not sure what the jungler will get. He'll get something, one of those choices. <laughs> but basically what it's going to mean is there's going to be less vision on the map. So no one can buy yellow wards anymore or green wards anymore, I mean. And now the sight stones also can be upgraded into four options, the ruby sight stone and then three eyes, which are basically the sight stone combined with the second tier gold items. And not, they're all pretty fine, all of those. They're basically just combining the sight stone with the gold item, basically putting them into one slot. They don't really give like any big benefit to combining them like that, but it's, it's nice that they can be combined into one slot now. It's just another option you have if you don't want to actually upgrade the gold items or the sight stone into the other options. And the ruby sight stone also reduces your active cooldowns by 10% now, so that's buffed, which is needed. The ruby sight stone was never that good of an item in the past but i think these changes overall seem like they'll be quite good it, it makes it so there's less vision on the map which should make more aggressive calls better like sneaking barons going into enemy jungles it should be able to accomplish that kind of thing easier and since support i guess support and jungle have relatively more vision control since they'll have the same one vision control and everyone else will have less it should give them, you know, slight buffs relatively in the vision control game, which I think is also quite needed. I think both of them are a bit weak compared to the other three roles at the moment. For the new vision items, I think that junglers are going to build a side stone because you need to provide vision control jungle perspective. And it's not going to be good enough to just go um, like an upgraded yellow trinket or something like that. You're going to need to actually wards the map. So that means that every jungler will now buy a side stone. And if the jungler can't side stone into their build path, they probably just will the jungler. So I think that it's just um, 
uh, change to try to make uh, junglers more like supports and just have like less influential over the game. Uh, because you can't just get away with buying real items and buying wards anymore. You're just going to actually have to buy sides in the game. So I think it's just um, a way to kind of take away the whole uh, variance that comes along with like aggressive jungling and it kind of just makes the game more stale and it's based off like which laners can outlane their opponent. So a ton of champions just got a bunch of mana increases, mana regen increases, and base mana increases, and they removed mana pots from the game. So they basically just took all the champions that were buying mana pots before, gave them a bunch of mana to make up for the fact that no one can buy mana pots. And honestly, I'm, I'm all for this. I think mana pots were kind of awkward. You basically would buy them like once or twice a game, and I don't know, they, they, they just weren't a big deal, and just removing them is, is good. Making it so people don't need them is good. With the changes to uh, mana pots being out and issue pots costing 15 more gold, I think uh, people will try to buy less issue pots now instead of buying like three. They only buy like two or one. And I think that's gonna change how learning phase will go a little bit since you're not gonna have much pots since it costs too much and you're gonna burn out of sustain eventually. I think the changes to where they took out the mana pots for top lane, now that they increased the mana growth of uh, every top lane that needs mana, I don't think the, they're going to need mana pots anymore, and so after early game, uh, they're still going to need mana items later game to make up for the, the mana cost of their skills. 